That's my new camera mount, pan tilt motor from AliExpress, 25 volts, and the model is 3050D. Some instructions regarding the characteristics, the connection, we'll see about that later, and all sorts of settings for the uh, deep switches because this mount is a uh, RS. 485 communications uh, standard with the Telco protocol for uh, cameras but I intended to use it only as a pan tilt motor without this uh, serial communication direct motor command the invoice from the Chinese company which states 215 US dollars Nice packaging, we have a set of nuts and bolts and an allen key. And this is our motor, it weighs 6.3 kilos. This is the body, aluminum body. What we are seeing here are some nuts to establish the limits for the pan element, how far it will go on the back and horizontal. And over there, there are other endpoint end limits which are triggering this peg over there. Let's start by taking off this bottom plate. Twenty four volts. 485 plus minus video plus minus Let's tear it apart properly This is a cast aluminum plate on top of another aluminum a similar shape Now we have two sides, one which is free moving and one which is connected to a motor. This is one leg. These are threaded holes where you can attach a counterweight if the camera mount on top of this is too heavy to balance the weight. And these are the end of turn limit uh, cams which trigger this switch over here. Out of those four screws on the bottom here I'm going to leave those two on the motor side and I'm going to release only those two. All the screws are made of a metal which is not attracted by magnet so I believe it's a stainless steel. Now the moment of truth. This is the inside, I labeled these cables with these connectors because they are not labeled and if I unplug them I don't want to mess around. This is a gasket around this edge here. So this is our camera motor. As you can see there's a lot of metal inside. All the gears are made of out of metal two big motors. These are the limit switches for the horizontal movement which are activated. And as for the vertical motor here are the limit cams, the limit switches also. Some nice relays over here. This switch is for the Pelco protocol. Thank you. 
I've made this setup for the test. The motor is out of this gear and I want to test if it rotates with my makeup board and the capacitors and with the switches if they act correctly. The motor is spinning and if I'm activating the zero switch, well it stops. Nice. And I'm going to move it towards the other direction. Look, it moves. Yeah, it looks like it works now. I'm going to assemble everything and test it in real life. All that's left to do now is to add those two potentiometers of position sensors to these gears to make this device an antenna rotator. Roger Tranquility, we copy you on the ground.